back mobsters if you haven't already please hit the subscribe button and be a part of the Martin mob uh, we would love to have you and today we're gonna be doing a story time about when me and my best friend bought a Ouija board so we're just gonna jump right into it me and my best friend decided to go buy a Ouija board we really had no idea where to get one or like how you play it or anything we've seen it in a couple movies but we we're like yeah we're just gonna do this it's probably been so cool whatever and mind you we are super spiritual and definitely devoted Christian so it's kind of like pretty much being a hypocrite like going and buying a Ouija board and like wanting to see what it's a it's about I guess it's almost like um temptation like temptation to see if that type of stuff is real but you know if you believe in God you believe in good and if you believe in good you have to believe in the evil and you have to believe in the devil so you know we just I guess wanted to see what temptation which is the devil <laughs> in to see if it was real and see really what was up with it so we actually go to Walmart and Walmart has a Ouija board for five dollars and we were like, oh my gosh, this is a sign, we have to get it. So we get the Ouija board and we start thinking about like where we should, you know, play at. So the two places we thought were probably the worst places you could possibly play in. And I'm pretty sure it tells you not to play in one of the specific places that we, we went to. The first place we went to was a burnt down house in her neighborhood. And the second was a cemetery. So, of course, the second one probably was so terrible. You're not supposed to do that at all. Like, I just recently watched the movie, and it said that you're not supposed to play in a cemetery. And you're not supposed to play alone. So, the first place we go to was the burned down house. So, we have to kind of almost break into that um, burnt down house. And, of course, there's like other houses surrounding it so it really wasn't like a quiet or like secretive thing we were doing like we definitely were noticeable when we were doing it and we get into the house we sit down and we pull out the board we start asking it questions and then we hear a big boom 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 and we just pause and we're like what the hell was that whole time it was the freaking police. The neighbors had called the police on us because we broke into this house. So we have to run through the cuts and run through the ponds and run through like all the, you know, little secret ways to get away from the police because we got the police called on us because we're idiots. The second time is when we went to the cemetery. It was me, Lisa, and another, and a guy. And we are all sitting around, we're playing accident questions, and you subconsciously like push it towards answers that, you know, or the answer that you're looking, or thinking in your head, I guess, or the like the words, the words you're thinking that in your head, you like subconsciously spell it out when you're like moving that thing across the board, I guess. So we asked it a question and it said like, you know, actually the guy that was with us, he asked the question and he's asked, you know, who, who's going to die soon? And it went and it said you, and we got super freaked out. We were like, dude, we can't be like playing this game and asking questions like that. Like, I'm not trying to play God and I'm not trying to, you know, play any games or anything with the spiritual word we don't know what we're unleashing or who we're talking to but we kept playing so we kept playing and we asked it another question and then I swear to God on everything I felt like I felt someone like touch my shoulder like ever so lightly like they put their hand on my shoulder and I was just like oh my god like I freaked around I freaked out and turned around because it was just only us three like I'm staring right at them. It couldn't have been them. So I feel like a hand, like almost like placed on my shoulder. And I'm like, oh my God, I'm done. I want to get out of here. Like, you know, I just was not comfortable with it at all. Like, I just was not okay. The next following three days is where everything, like, really just turns into a shit show. Um, me and Lisa get into an accident with this Ouija board in the trunk. And by accident, I'm not saying like, oh, we just um, 
hit somebody, rear, we rear-ended somebody, we flipped in a car three times with a Ouija board in our trunk. And no, I don't think it's a coincidence, like a coincidence, like that it, we had the Ouija board or anything, like things happen for a reason, but while I was in the car, like, and while we were, like, flipping, I just had this urge of, like, calmness, like, fall over my whole body and like I was not freaked out at all like my best friend is over there like oh my god hell what are we gonna do like freaking out screaming like wailing and I'm literally holding on to the seat like holding on underneath the seat like this and just praying and we of course had our seatbelt on but unfortunately we also had our dog with him uh, like her dog with us and he broke his tail uh, it was so sad I couldn't believe that he broke his tail while we walked away from that incident without a bump or a scratch I did have some whiplash because of course we did flip in a car three times I did have some whiplash but like that's it we didn't have anything else and oh since we got into that car accident Lisa's mom found the Ouija board in her trunk and completely flipped the fuck out on us. Like, she flipped out on us. She's a little Hispanic lady that speaks very, you know, she has a very good relationship with God. She loves the Lord. She just was so upset and so mad that we had brought this evil into our house or into our lives and, like, try to play a game with pretty much the devil like you're not speaking to an angel in a Ouija board like you're looking like most of the time you don't see anybody speaking through to like a good person or whatever it's usually like evil or something so she flips out on us I mean smack smack like mira mira like speaking Spanish and stuff like going off on us like for real going off and of course made us go to church the next day and to repent for everything that we had done these you know past couple weeks but if you get anything out of this video do not play with Ouija boards I think that it's mostly like a subconscious thing of you like pushing it around for the birds but like what's the point of that like I don't know I just don't think that it's worth it especially if you're a spiritual person and you believe in the Lord and you know if you believe in good there's obviously evil and I just don't think that you know there's anything that you ha you will gain from a Ouija board. There's nothing you will gain. But, yep, that's the end of my story time. So, like I said in the beginning, guys, if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button and become a mobster and a part of the mob. And please stay tuned for more videos. Love ya. Bye.